Deep in the Shropshire countryside lies the forgotten village of Darley, also known as the Village of Bones, with just two houses remaining, one of which sits in a dilapidated state, while the other, hidden away in the woods, has an eerie presence. What will we uncover as we investigate Thrift Cottage, also known as the Doll's House? Here we go. There we go, you know, you might have put the, the backlight on. Yeah. Now, strangely, when we were in here earlier, um, got what I believed was a growl on the stairs, which was strange. Well, very strange, because I thought it was your tummy, yeah, didn't I? Yeah, I can't, you know, I can't completely rule that out, but from the noise of it, the loudness. You would have... Yeah. Felt it. <laughs> think so. We've got some old newspaper on the floor. So it's actually from October the 4th, 1983, that bit, oh, of, wow. uh, bit of newspaper is. Jack Barry. I think it's sports stuff, Daily Mirror. Is that, oh, that's just a little cupboard under the stairs. Oh, yeah. It's so got this room. And then this room in here. Which would have been living room or dining room or. Possibly. In quite good condition still in mm. here. Some more new here. newspapers here. Oh yeah. Nineteen eighty-four. First day, March fifteenth. I mean, this room does seem really solid, which is good. Mm -hmm. The old fireplace there. You can tell that this house, because we've been over and looked at the other house as well, is in a in a better state. Yeah, literally in the other house there was literally like two small rooms, wasn't there? Yeah. There was a I just I get the feeling that and as she said now, you know, an older couple was living here. Yeah. You know, you can just picture an old man perhaps sat in front of the Rayburn there, or the fireplace. Smoking on his pipe and having a Possibly. whiskey. Possibly. <laughs> or brandy. Then do you want to... Head up? Yeah. is the first room. I'd say this was one of the bedrooms. And then I just thought this had been the bathroom. And then this probably would have been the master bedroom, I would have thought. And obviously there is like a mini loft. That was just a gimbal. <clears throat> it was weird then, I was getting um, lights down here, but it was just the cracks in the ceiling. Uh, amazing <laughs> how kind of sturdy this building still is. I know. Because I thought the stairs would have been like a no-go. Mm. I mean, they look like in places they're moving quite a bit. Mm. But 
pretty, pretty good at the moment. Okay, so we're just in what we believe was like possibly the dining room slash kitchen. I think through there would have been the, the, living the main room. living room. Um, but they could have both been living rooms. But like I said before, I just get the Cause that, feeling. Yeah, that's the old cooker there. Yeah. So I've set up a bit of equipment around just to see if we can get any interactions possibly on those bits of equipment. We've got two REM pods, one on the stairs, one on the cooker and a cat ball in the doorway and one by the cooker there on the floor. I'm going to run the Alice box in a minute as well. I'll just do some general call out. So the lucky thing we've got tonight is it's such a lovely peaceful night. It is. There's no wind, there's no rain. No. You know, for the start of February we we lucky. Were blessed. Yeah. <laughs> it's obviously a little bit cold but yeah. it's not, not bad at all. Um we know from research and we've I've tried to do a lot of research on it, this building um dates back to the seventeenth century and possibly was abandoned uh, abandoned in the nineteen eighties. Um, there used to be some graffiti, I think it was on the other house, saying Jen's Den, 1987. wonder if that lady that we met was Jen. Possibly. Or have we bumped into one of the, the lost residents <laughs> of the... Uh, Although the she doesn't village. seem the type to graffiti. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean it to, It's not like graffiti as in, you know, spray paint on walls. This is, you know, carved into a fireplace oh. and stuff. Um, St. Jen's Den 1987, yeah. so Possibly. Not, not like you know, your typical spray painted rock. Oh, I thought the wall that's what you meant. No, no, <laughs> you missed that joke as well. Uh. What did you say? Don't you worry about it, watch <laughs> it back. Right, so that's going to call out first. We're lucky enough to know the name of this cottage. And we know it to be Thrift Cottage. If there are any former residents here with us now, could you make yourself known? It's a really nice cottage you have here. And we feel very lucky to be able to come and see it. Can you indicate in any way that you are still here? <laughs> Could you copy this? We'll try and move something in this building. Or throw something towards us. That's just my tummy. <laughs> my name's James and Rianne's the lady behind the camera. We do this quite a lot where we come to different buildings and try and make contact with people. You don't have to fear us in any way. And we come here with the utmost peace and respect. We just want to see if we can communicate with you. There's a green light on the stairs, a blue light on the cooker, everything called a REM pod. If you go over towards them and touch them, they light up, they make a loud noise. But again, it's just a way of us possibly knowing where you are within this house. I 
I mean to start the Alice box, yeah. just see if we get anything from that. So we're going to start another, well, a device up now that will allow you to come forward and give us your message. It might be easier for you to pick out the words on here rather than knock to us or signify that you're here in another way. So we welcome you forward and we'd ask for a name first please. Is it a good volume? There's two balls on the floor as well. Welcome you to touch. This is the gimbal. I don't know why that's rattling. I thought it took that Oh no. Drain. Drunk rates. Drunk rates. One visit. Console. One visit. Is that all we're allowed? Just one visit to your house? Could you give us the name of this cottage? Or tell us why people call it the doll's house. Why this is known as the village of bones. Can you copy this? in this room here, can you knock back? It's really dark in there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if anyone. Strong. Strong. Even when we came here earlier and it was like proper daylight, that room was still really dark, yeah. wasn't it? We'll head into that room now. Yeah. So just come into what I believe was another living room or living space for the people who used to live in this cottage. I'm going to run um, a spirit box in here because I think it might um, possibly ramp up the activity yeah. in the mind. But also there might be, the residents of this cottage might be more attuned to coming through the radio to us. Yeah. Because uh, it's something that they would have had then. Because the um, radio's like radio's been around for forever, hasn't mm, it? Well, not not forever. No. <laughs> um, but back end of the early early part of the twentieth century or back end of the nineteenth century, um, radio was first mm -hmm. around. I reckon probably early twentieth century, maybe around the time of the wars. Yeah. So, if there is any people here with us now, any former residents. Welcome you forward to speak through this device. So it's like a mini radio and you can come through the signal on it. So? Hmm? So? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Looking at the door there. <laughs> I'm just going to turn this off and see if we get anything. Is there anyone here with us now? My name's Ed. Ed, is this your cottage? I know. 
Can you tell us the name of this cottage, please? I kind of think that's said. What's it called? Can you tell us why this cottage was abandoned? What did you hear? I thought the red pod went off. Hmm. I know my tummy just went off, but that doesn't sound like a red no, like an alarm somewhere. Hmm. Can we have the year that this place was abandoned, please? It's just a car or vehicle in the distance. Yeah. Please try and come forward. How's your name? My name's Rianne. My name's James. What's your name? David. Wow. Dead clear. Hi David. Hi David. Is this your cottage? Don't she ask me for anything oh. sentence. What what year did you leave here? Speak loud and clear for us. What is that? This is um, a box, a radio that allows you to talk to us. Can you tell us what year it is where you are? We'd just like David to come through at the moment, please. What was the name of this village? Can you clearly tell us the name of this village or hamlet? Are you still here, David? Nothing on the balls. Nothing. Nothing on the ramparts. No. Is anyone at all here with us now? See, I, I definitely got a David through. Yeah. And then a yes. Okay, thank you for your communications. Thank you. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Might have said have to leave then. Yeah. Feels for a place. It has. Okay, guys, so as James has just said, um, I'm going to do 15 minutes, 10 15 minutes alone in here, um, just see what I can get while James takes the scenery in outside. Because um, obviously, this used to be a village as well. 
Um, so I'll probably do a couple of minutes in here and then take you guys upstairs um, just to see if we can get anything or not. So what I'll do is I'll just go lights out. So I'll just do a couple of minutes in here. So spirits, I am now all alone in your lovely cottage. If you are here, and I'm not just talking to nobody, like I'm crazy, can you make yourself known please? Can you possibly knock twice? Might with me. My uncle. <laughs> Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll head upstairs, I'll still record just while I'm heading upstairs. So yeah, I do believe that this was the old kitchen, because obviously that looks like ovens, a bit like an auger, but obviously more old school. So, head upstairs. I'll try not to set the red pot off, but. And I didn't set the red pot off. Okay. I might go to the master bedroom. Well, I believe, oh, I believe to be the master bedroom. And I'm gonna go lights out. Okay. I have left the equipment downstairs. Because I feel like this place get more out of calling out, more old school. Because obviously we believe this in place hasn't been investigated before. So if it is haunted, this, as I said before, the spirits might not know how to work the equipment. So I've come up to up the upstairs bit. I believe this is the master bedroom, but correct me if I'm wrong. If you are up here with me, can you make yourself known please? If I knock on that door, can you knock back? lot colder up here due to big windows okay whilst I'm up here I'm gonna run the ghost tube 
just to see if we can get anything through. I don't know. Oh yeah, that is me. Obviously rattling that. So I'll try and stay still. Okay, spirits. I've what got, year is it? What year is it? It's 2023. What year do you believe it is? Can you tell me anything about this cottage? I don't know much about the history. What year is it? I'll repeat it, it's 2023. There's just the wildlife. Can you perhaps tell me your name or the name of this cottage or area? Can you try and make a loud bang so I know where you are or that you are here with me? Yes. Yes. Brilliant. Can you do that now for me, please? If you're struggling for energy, you can use mine. Or oh, can you walk around so I can hear your footsteps? These may seem like silly questions, but this is just a method to try and prove that you exist. Because it's one of the big questions in life. Is the life after death? What I'll do then is I'll head downstairs and just finish up downstairs, but I'll still record just in case I fall to my death or we capture anything. And I'll try not to set the REM pod off. <laughs> so I'll just finish it up in here okay <clears throat> so I'll come back downstairs can you do one thing for me please so I know you're here
anything before we go. That mist is just my breath. It's a little bit cold. Okay, it now says two minutes. It might be the memory card. Excuse me. It might be the memory card. So, if it is the memory card, I'll wrap it up quick. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, this has been my 15 minute alone in here. Um, don't think I've caught anything, but you never know until you look back at your footage. Um, when you time stamp in and see so yeah so that was my alone challenge done